<sighs> I was watching this bit. Uh, gold silver with Mike Maloney. Ten dollar oil. It happened by Mike Maloney. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, uh, right about there. That feels like it's right. Can lever up 20, 50, even 100 times or more with zero regard to the underlying collateral. And the real kicker is that what and how the Fed decides on what leverage to apply, how to value the collateral, and which companies to bail out and which to let fail, is now a secret. That's because the Senate-approved stimulus bill repeals the sunshine law for the Fed's meetings until the president says the coronavirus threat is over or the end of the year. And it'll probably get extended if they say that the coronavirus threat is not over. Uh, <clears throat> Senator Pat Toomey told reporters Wednesday, we're hoping it's a mechanism to keep businesses alive for a few weeks or months until our economy can resume. And if it can't resume in a few weeks or months, the mechanism will keep running until the Fed can and will nationalize everything. Well, they're not going to nationalize it because the Fed is private. And so Hold up. What he's saying about the Fed being private? I've said that uh, in a previous video of mine somewhere on YouTube. They have a private stock and a public stock publicly tradable stocks and then the privatized stocks and in the private sector stocks they own they own your life continuing right along so they're privatizing everything in the hands of the world's largest banks the stockholders of the Federal Reserve so if you go to the Fed, Federal Reserve's website you'll find that there are stockholders and that they're paid a 6% dividend uh, so congratulations America you were just bought by a group of anonymous bankers with your own elected politicians making it possible. The price? $1,200 per person for a month or two. Yeah. Point in case of the corruption inherent in the system validated. Substantiated. Definitely far beyond instigated. Oh, it does excite me to finally see someone pointing out the corruption in the system. The history of your enslavement. Money is a fallacy. It's, uh, it's not a thing. It's a circle jerk fallacy. And if you, you look up the etymology of the word fallacy, uh, comes from what is it the Roman uh, phallus which was a dick a statuette with wings on it so it's a flying circle jerk <laughs> it's a total fallacy money and currency they're interchangeable they have no value uh, someone says gold has value and eh, wrong absolutely fucking wrong oil doesn't have value nothing has value not not real value see the uh, the psycho fuck fallacy value that everyone keeps placing on it and saying this is real value that's a lie and that lie that fallacy that fuck you circle jerk that's fucking everyone over stifling real psychological emotional and spiritual and uh psychological and mental emotional and spiritual progress it's stifling the human species from making any real progress anywhere mm. gotta get it all trimmed up so it looks nice when I say fuck all of you because uh, I've known this for fucking years I've just been waiting for the perfect, the absolute perfect opportune time to throw a lit match of truth 
into the powder keg of lies and watch all of you fucking assholes in charge of everything, the shadow government, which is to say, that's the terminology that's used to cover up the corporatocracy that is actually in charge, who owns everything, the bureaucrats, the politicians, the, the corporates, little fuck faces who own everything and charge everyone exorbitant fees. Pay us money because you're alive. That's just slavery with extra steps. And this, um, this situation with the coronavirus, as you all want to call it, I still like Kung Flu better. I still like that one better. That's a good one. Kung Flu. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. But anyway, this whole situation with this virus outbreak it was like clockwork every 100 years it happens and every, every time it's the same old story all your corrupt bitches in charge try to hoard their wealth try to escape from the consequences of their corruption try to escape from paying the price of their corruption and this time the information is there is available at a global scale instantly just instantly it's that available that quickly because you got people like Mike there like me here like John Oliver like Jim Sterling people like us who are pointing out and we're all using different inflections and different words and we're all using different psychological standpoints. But we're all pointing out the exact same thing. The inherent corruption in the system. And how it is doomed to fail by design. A system that is based on a fuck you fallacy is always doomed to failure by design. Because its design is intrinsically dependent, massively dependent, upon the ideology that this one person who designed the fuck you fallacy behind it all is right when it's nothing more than their opinion. And an opinion inherently is wrong by default of not being a truth. Even an axiom, which is something that is so widely accepted so it as to seem that it is true, can be inherently wrong by default. And another default, the United States Declaration of Independence. Everyone has a certain... Uh, everyone is... Uh, endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights and that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But I don't see much of uh, people being allowed to exercise their pursuit of happiness, their civil liberties, or the choice to live their own life as they see fit so long as it does not infringe upon those same rights of another individual. I don't see much of that going on at all. I see a psycho fuck bitch system in charge of assholes who think that they own you and everything else around them telling you what to do, what not to do, what to think, what to believe, what to act, what to fucking worship and why to worship it. And I am sounding exactly like George Garland. So fuck you. Till next time. Oh, and I'm gonna let the video run ten minutes, even if you're gonna have to stare at the the palm of my hand.
because that's where you are. You're in the palm of some corporate bitch's hand as he grips tight around you, or she grips tight around you, and starts circle-jerking the fallacy. <laughs>